Hello, welcome to the second vodcast by PRN. We're here with Prof Parkin and Dr. Feltz again today and we're going to go over the visual pathway. First we're going to start with the general physiology and then go on to the more difficult pathologies. Okay, so listen to you. I think we'll start with the general anatomy rather than physiology. Sorry. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> so it's a physical property of the lens that it will reverse the image left, right, and upside down as well. So if we're looking at, for example, this pair of forceps, the lens will project the tip onto the uh, nasal portion of the right retina, even though the tip of the forceps appears in the uh, temporal portion, the visual field. So it's Let very me just hold you there, Paul, mm -hmm. just to repeat that out. So this is the temporal visual field mm -hmm. out here, but the lens has turned it so it's being perceived by the retina there, the nasal retina. Exactly, it's projected okay. onto the okay. nasal Sorry retina, to so the two are backward, and the same occurs uh, in an, in an up-down position, so to speak. The upper visual field is projected onto the lower portion of the retina. And that's the same for both sides, so my hands are there, but that's been projecting in there, for that sort of coming in and similarly backwards from other it's coming in there. Exactly, so if we take the forcep example again, the tip of the forcep on the right side is being projected to the nasal retina, but on the left eye it's being projected into the temporal portion of the retina. And this is the thing that you can sort of test on yourself by pressing on the eye. Pressing yes, you can, the you, eye. Can, you can perceive that fact by simply gently pressing on, your, on the, the central portion of your eye. What you're doing there is changing the, the physiology of the retina just below. And of course you perceive it as being temporal visual field because that's what you're... And emphasis on the gently for anybody watching the Gently, podcast. yes. Please, please do that <laughs> so very gently, but it is quite true. Here you see dot there. Exactly. And if you move your finger up, the dot will appear yeah. to go down because again, um, yeah. things uh -huh. in the upper visual field are projected the towards the lower. It has nothing to do with, with vision, obviously, but it does change the electrophysiology of the receptors below it. Mm -hmm. So when we've got, let's say, this forceps, um, this comes here, that goes there to mm -hmm. cross the other side. So it's like that. Exactly. That's mm -hmm. how the information is being passed down, looking like that. Exactly. That is okay. the retinal perception of the visual right. field. That's exactly okay. correct. One thing that you have to remember, and another thing that often is confusing to people, is the crossing in which fibers cross at the optic chiasm. But it's really a very simple, um, it can be taken to a very simple level, and that is everything in the right visual field regardless of which eye it enters on, ends up in the left cortex. Mm -hmm. So everything in the right visual field ends up in the left cortex. Therefore, the fibers that are crossing are inherently, thank you, the, the, the nasal portions of the, of, the, um, of the two retina. And that is because, of course, this nasal, nasal portion and this right eye is perceiving this right visual field and therefore it being the right visual field it has to make its way back to the left cortex and vice versa this portion as it's perceived on the right eye uh, has got to make because it's the left cortex it also is, is going to end up on, on the other side the left visual field uh, as it's perceived um, in the left eye uh, has got to cross over to the right um, uh, visual cortex. Mm -hmm. So in both cases it is the nasal portions of the retina and therefore uh, the temporal portions of the visual fields uh, which are co crossing at the optic chiasm. Do you think right. it will help if we draw this? Yep. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Uh, okay, so we're going to draw a simple object um, in order to see how it will be represented on the retina and then carried further down the visual field. Uh, we decided on a shark or a dolphin, so I'll try my best. Just because it's got a fin, so it's not symmetrical either way. And put an eye there. How's that? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Is it good? I'll awesome put a nice line there. And <laughs> so we've got our eyes here. Okay, maybe, maybe I've done it a bit big, but it's probably quite good. Get it sorted. So, as you said, this part. This lateral part here comes down here mm -hmm. and over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, that's so how can I draw that on here then? I think we want to draw the whole shark. 
Okay. So it has how the whole shark appears. Draw underneath you. Yeah. Push the back of right. So correct me if I'm wrong, because I probably will be. Our shark should be upside down. Upside down. And yeah. And the other way around. So mouth here. Right. Thin down. Okay. So this is the retinal representation that you're drawing mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I already <laughs> wrong. Yeah, <laughs> in the bottom. Right. Yes. This is good though. Like, would the mouth not be facing yes. towards Marge right. and Fraser yeah. and us? Yeah. 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 That's there we go. Be there, and the eye will be there. Excellent. Yeah. That's exactly how it's proceeded on the Great. Right. How it's projected onto the retina. And, and it's the same on that side. Exactly okay, the same I'll do it again. again. So this is coming all the way down here. Mm -hmm. It's coming here. Yeah. Is that quite clear? That was yeah. really well. It's getting better by the moment. Okay. So I told you it wouldn't be a work of art. <laughs> still. Right. Um, imagine just for me, could you put yeah. the tail now with different coloured lines yeah. going to the Cool. Other we'll parts green. of the retina. And then we've got it. You can even draw the tail green here and then <laughs> here. So that comes to this part mm -hmm. of the retina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to here? Exactly. Right. And then you said <coughs> afterwards about the crossing later on, but it seemed a lot more simple than I thought it was, as in it just means that everything from this part on the that, that comes from let's say is this left or right would you say I think? That's a left visual field. Certainly left visual field. Yeah, left visual field ends up in the right hemisphere. Exactly. So it doesn't really matter what, what happens in between, just from like knowing that whatever eye it comes from, it gets to the opposite That's side. That's exactly right. So whichever left field it comes from it's whichever would field, be better yeah, to say. Yeah, yes. yes. It yes. does matter to know where it goes though in terms of um, well, brain injuries. So, right, what where the brain injury is to affect what sort mm -hmm. of visual fi visual field it would be. Yeah, so that's true. If you put in to the crossover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to use black, and then we can color it in later. So, so we know that's happening like that. So yeah, the nasal, the nasal portions are the ones which cross onto the other side. I was going to say, don't forget the fact that there is a, you know, half of them are not crossing, yeah. of course, yeah. on either side. It is the nasal okay. portion of the retina which is going to... So I really, if we have... The easiest thing to think, to think of is in, in this one is that all the green is going to one side and all mm -hmm. the red is excellent. going to the other. Yeah, yeah. So once you've got a diagram right. like this, that's how it's crossing over. Is yeah. that one thread excellent. is staying and one thread is crossing for each other. Green coming there. Exactly. But this green from here isn't crossing. Perfect. It's going straight down there. Exactly. Yeah. It's in the left cortex, it carrying everything from the right visual field. And everything from here hitting mm -hmm. on the nasal part here. And what would that be called there? Temporal. The temporal part there. Retina. Temporal or retina. Retina. It's coming to that part. The nasal part crosses. Great. Yep. 